Hey, what's up, guys? Boxing with B. Hey, Rob, without the paycheck. All right. This past weekend, we saw Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders. We saw it finish in the eighth round. Billy Joe Saunders could not continue. Canelo landed that perfect punch to the eye, messed up um, Billy Joe Saunders' eye by breaking his orbital bone. Stoppage. It's over. Canelo wins it. What did you think? <laughs> not much. You know, I, I watched the fight because of the fight. Yeah. But I knew Saunders was not going to be able to do much against Canelo. You know what? He impressed me. He, I think he gave Canelo too much respect. But then again, I don't know. Maybe he was just scared of his power. He didn't want to yeah. go in and walk well, into something. Happened. Yes, exactly. He you didn't know? get knocked out, but he did get some damage. But at the same time, I give credit to Billy Joe Saunders putting his hands down, showing that he is a boxer. Yeah. And yeah, then showing that defense, literally coming into Canelo with his hands down. Who goes see, in and yeah, puts their hands see, down? Canelo doesn't. Canelo knew that this guy couldn't hurt him. Yes. All right. That's why he didn't care. Yeah. You know, and he could hurt him. So he was waiting for his opportunity. He finally yeah. got it. You know, No, it's true. That's you not, know? you know, Canelo will not choose a fight that With he does opponent. not have the edge over. He, you know, he chooses a fight. He chose Triple G At when Triple G got seen. older, you know, and, you know, these other guys that are out, these American fighters, these American champions that are calling him out, he ignores, you know, and, uh, you know, what he said to, uh, what's his name? Demetrius Andre. Yeah, you're, you're boring. Well, guess what? Charlo's not boring. David Benavides is not boring. Yeah. My favorite line, too, is when he said, who have you fought? You know, Canelo tells him, who have you fought? And he goes, who have Rock Fielding fought? I was like, oh, oh that was a good snap. one. Yeah, that was that, that was, was a, a good, good point. Good and point. then Canelo's like, get the. F but this was it was Canelo's time. So that was this should have been a time and a place. But I'll give him credit, you know, trying to start some steam up right there. But I bet you uh, Canelo would fight. Him before he would take the Charlo or David Benavides. That's true. You know. That is very true. You know. Demetrius Andre versus Canelo right now. I don't see Canelo losing, but I give credit to, to Demetrius Andre going in there and saying, I want this fight. I want well, this fight. Why don't tired. you fight me? Let's he's go. He's tired. You know, he's trying to catch these fights and nobody's fighting him. Yeah. You know? I'll give him that. Yeah. But. So overall, what do you say about the performance? All what I know, about Canelo was there for a sparring match, it looks like. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders, you know, he didn't do much then. I thought personally he couldn't, yeah. he could, whatever he threw as hard as he could throw, he, Canelo, he, Canelo could take it. What are your thoughts at the end? You know, people saying, wow, Billy Joe Saunders has he no got heart. Hurt. He got hurt. It doesn't, I, I can't say nothing. If, if you can't see no more and you don't know how bad it is, this is your eye. Yeah. You're, you're a boxer. You lose your eyes, mostly him, and he's a boxer, not a puncher. He's not a, a brawler. All, like a long time ago, there was a, uh, a fighter that was losing, uh, that was losing, his eyes were shutting, and he told his coach, I can't see, I can't see. And uh, he goes, he was a Kevin Kelly, 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 that was his name, Kelly. Kevin Kelly, I believe. He was fighting, and his eyes went shut, and he goes, I can't see, but he was the champion. And uh, he, then his trainer goes, but you could do this, you can move that. And then, and then he goes, coach, I can't see. And the coach, the, his trainer goes, there's always tomorrow. Yeah. There's always tomorrow. He turned around, he goes, it's over. And it was over. Credit to the team. You have to know your fighter. Despite what fans say, you are the one that's making the decision for your fighter if they're not, if they're not you know, stopping yeah. it themselves. So it well, is Saunders, what it is. Uh, to me, he got hurt. He got hurt. If Everyone's he couldn't do different. It, yeah, if he couldn't continue, he can't continue. You, you're, you're here to support your family, your career and yeah. everything. You're a gypsy, you know. The magic's going to heal you and you're going to come back. Let's and talk, hopefully even stronger. Let's talk. Hey, go train to Mexico, brother. Go train in Mexico so they can't tell you nothing. Eat some good tacos oh and my you'll get some power. Oh, my goodness The first the intro. I really liked Canelo's intro. We're not oh, really yeah. going to talk too much about the intros all the time, but this one, was, I give credit good. because last time when he came in with J Balvin, it was all spectacular. I'm like, all right, cool, but this I don't was, get it. He's called considered J the Balvin's grand, not Mexican. Yeah, the greatest, You're coming the greatest, in as like a Mexican fighter, Mexican yeah, fight night. Well, he did this an, time, Antonio, I mean, Pepe Antonio, Aguilar. Pepe Aguilar, Antonio and Gasoline. his daughter did a great performance too. Great. Singing the national anthem. And Mexico, her way. And there was a lot of haters. A lot of haters. I thought it was great. I thought it was great, too. A lot of haters. Her seven, voice is strong, powerful. 17-year-old little girl put a great performance. But yes. a lot of Mexican people said that she sang it, like, not a good way. Not it's a slow and not as fast. as It was slower. It was different than what we're used to seeing. It was her own way. But, uh, yeah. But she did well. She's, a mu he, she's an artist. Artists change it to their own style. She's a little girl still, you guys. Hey, but I don't care. Either way, she's a little girl. She's a, a, a grown woman. She did a great performance. I thought her voice was strong and everything. We're not we're not yeah. singing experts here, man. We're not going to go into that. No. But she did great. I thought it was a great intro having 
legit Mexican um, legend. Yeah. Come in and, yeah. and, you know, put on that great legendary performance. legendary family. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Great fight. So, real quick, just to finish it up, let's talk a little bit about the weekend before, what we saw. The Mexican heavyweights. We told you guys it was going to be a good fight because Mexican versus Mexican. But Big we one. saw Chris Ariola versus Angie Ruiz Jr. Yep. One thing in that third, what was it, third round? I believe so. Second or third round. Chris Ariola. Second round. Shocked, I bet, Andy Ruiz because Andy Ruiz was not thinking that the old man was going to be able to drop him. And what did he do? He made him touch the canvas. But they forget one thing, these guys. The power never goes. Yeah. I got to see it with the guy they used to call old George Foreman. Old George Foreman knocked out Michael Moore and knocked a lot of guys out yeah. at his age. You know, he was a great fighter. Power doesn't leave. And Chris Ariola still has his right hand. And I think Andy Ruiz might have second-guessed it, might have overlooked it. And was like, let's just go in. He was coming in all quick, ate that, touched the canvas, and then had to pretty much survive that round because he almost touched the canvas twice. His knee buckled. He yeah. almost touched the canvas. Long story short, that was the most exciting one. It was a, it was a good fight. That it was a good fight. All 12 rounds. And then Chris Ariola was not very happy with how it turned out with the decision by the judges. You know, these judges, man, they all seem like they take classes from LA Bird. I don't know what the hell they see. Yeah, Andy Reese might have won it. Yeah. But he didn't win it from a large margin. Chris Ariola did not win one round. He won a lot yeah, more than that. I think he he did for sure. You know, that's bullshit. You know, like Beep. when they're like just back fighters, they should have suspend some judges. Yeah. Simple as that. They suspend have. Them. They've done it before. Well, the WBA recently, did. Yeah. They need the to WBA. start doing it a lot more. Yeah. You know, to so they can't be star. Or you know what? If they get paid, cut their pay, suspend. Gone. Don't even pay for that. They're ruining boxing. Yeah, yeah. I agree. So, that's the only thing I hate, but the fight was great. Mm -hmm. Great fight. Yeah. At the end, he had a choice of words for the judges that we won't repeat. But just now we got the message. He was not happy. Man, Chris, like I told some, you know, I said in a, this a different segment. Too bad you didn't fight Goose. You didn't find Goosen a lot sooner in your that's career. That's what everyone in the boxing world knows. If he would have had Goosen, would we have seen a Mexican heavyweight way before we Andy seen Ruiz? The new linear WBC linear champion of the world. Not no the other belts are great too, but not the IBF, not the WBC. I mean, not the WBA, not the uh, Ring Magazine, but the literally the WBC, the belt of all belts. He would have had that. Well, it is what it is, like you said. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. But that was what we saw the past two weekends. Great fights. I mean, you didn't think it was that great the second one, but it is what it is. Yep. That's all we're going to cover. Lights out.